Hi, this is Aaron Wilson, owner of Pearl Vision here in Cleveland. Thank you so much for coming to see us today. Since purchasing the store in 1997, this store has grown tenfold, making it one of the fastest growing stores in the nation and allowing us to win six of these national awards. In 1997, Aaron Wilson purchased the Pearl Vision franchise in Cleveland, Tennessee, making him the youngest Pearl owner at 27 years old. In 1994, Aaron completed his Master in Ophthalmic Optics and became one of only a handful of Master Opticians in the nation. Pearl Vision Cleveland has gone on to win six national awards for growth and has been number one in the nation in customer service. Several times over the past few years, Pearl Vision Cleveland has been the fastest growing Pearl in the nation. Aaron has also developed a third-party managed health care program and is listed in the nation's Who's Who. Dr. Patterson is a graduate of the prestigious Citadel Military College and the Southern College of Optometry. Before moving to Cleveland, Dr. Patterson was the Chief of Optometric Services at a military hospital. Dr. Patterson also worked in private optometry, general ophthalmology, and LASIK surgery centers. There's a few things going on behind the scenes that you may not have been aware of. Come with me for a minute. Let me show you what's going on. Here we are in the pretest room, and I want to show you a couple of things about the machines that you've probably already seen. Uh, this machine right here is called an auto refractor, and uh, the technician has probably already introduced you to this machine and uh, taken you through it. This machine is going to give the eye doctor an approximation of your prescription. It's going to put him in the ballpark. Also, it's going to take some corneal curvatures that uh, he's going to need if we're fitting you with contact lenses. This is called an auto refractor. Now, this particular machine is the latest and the greatest. Now, let me show you this one right here. Sitting right next to it is a retinal camera. Now, this technology is something that you would normally have seen only in a retinal specialist office, but now here it is in uh, Pearl Vision. This machine gives Dr. Patterson so much good information about what's going on on the back of your eye. Let me show you. This right here is a picture of what Dr. Patterson is going to see. Um, uh, this machine is going to take a picture and then it's going to feed it to the exam room so that he can uh, look at the back of your eye and show you what's going on on the back of your eye. This is the optic disc, the vascular system. Um, we've got the, uh, the macula, the area of uh, greatest concentration of color cones on the back of the eye. Dr. Patterson is looking at all of that and uh, making determinations about the health of that retina to make sure that, uh, that your, your vision is being well taken care of. In the case of uh, diabetic patients, this is critical, critical information to get to Dr. Patterson because of a uh, diabetic retinopathy and those tiny little micro bleeds that sometimes can come up on, uh, on the retina. And so he is able to look into those blood vessels, make sure that everything's okay. If he sees a tiny little micro bleed, then he is able to address that very, very early on. This right here is a valuable you know, a piece of, uh, uh, of equipment that Pearl is able to use to make sure that your vision is well taken care of. Now, got one more for you. This machine right here, probably one that the technician used on you just a few minutes ago, is called a non-contact tonometer. This is pretty neat. Again, this is the latest and greatest, just a few months old, made by Canon. This is the first one sold in America after it got FDA uh, approval. Incredible uh, technology. Um, this machine tests for glaucoma, um, and it does so using a tiny little burst of air and uh, this machine is going to uh, tell the doctor uh, the pressure, the intraocular pressure, the pressure inside the eye and to make sure that that pressure is within the margins that it needs to be in because uh, if someone has too much pressure sometimes that can damage the cells uh, on the back of the eye uh, in the retina and we do not want that. So this right here is a, a guard against glaucoma. Hey what do you think of these? No I didn't like them either they're really crummy. No picking crummy glasses for your free second pair. Sometimes on the buy one get one free they make you pick ugly glasses like these for your free second pair that nobody wants. We don't make you do that. On the ultimate buy one get one free, if you buy a Vogue, you get a Vogue for free. If you buy a Versace, you get a Versace for free. That's how it works. Maybe you want your spouse to have the free pair. Maybe you want your son or daughter to get the free pair. That's okay. Here at Pearl Vision, you can do that. We let you do that. And the crummy pair, we throw them away. That is the ultimate buy one, get one free here at Pearl Vision, and it's running right now. Hi, I'm Joan Smith, and I'm so glad I found the Pearl Vision Center. 
uh, from the time I got my appointment till I came into the store and then I met with the doctor and he was so kind and answered all my questions that I had and then the staff here was so helpful. They even helped me find my blingy glasses that I wanted. I think it'd be crazy not to come to Pearl Vision Center. Ever broken your glasses before? Man, that's a bad feeling. Purchasing the $25 warranty at Pearl Vision covers the frame and the lens for a year. If they get broken for any reason, doesn't matter, bring them in, you get uh, new frames, new lenses at 70% off, no questions asked. Ask an optician. Make sure your glasses have the warranty on them. Hey, what kind of contact lenses are you wearing? Have you ever thought about buying your contact lenses online? A lot of people have. But did you know that Pearl Vision is cheaper than 1-800 contacts on every single contact lens? Doesn't matter if you're wearing AccuView Advance or SEBA Air Optics, Pearl Vision is cheaper than 1-800 contacts on every single contact. And you know what? You don't have to pay shipping and wait all that time either. Let's think about this scenario. It's a wet, rainy night. You're driving along and all of a sudden a car darts out in front of you. Now, in that moment, your ability to see that car out of your peripheral vision is very important, critical. The HD lens using corrected curve technology and asphericity allows you the best opportunity to be safe on that night because it's allowing you not just good central vision, but it's allowing you excellent peripheral vision. Ask an optician and make sure your lenses are HD today. Here we are behind the scenes in the lab here at Pearl Vision in Cleveland, and I got something really cool I wanna show you. This is some of the equipment right here that uh, makes your prescription lenses. Uh, now, when your prescription comes into the lab, then uh, it will be input into one of these two machines right here. Uh, one of these machines right here is a quarter of a million dollars, and we have three of them. Um, the prescription is input here, and then it tells us which molds we need to pull in order to produce your lens. Uh, there will be a, a front mold and a back mold. And when we put the molds together, it forms what's called a gasket assembly that looks something like this right here. It's got a front mold and it has a back mold on it, and, and it now has a cavity in between them that is the exact shape of the lens for you that we want to produce. As a matter of fact, look at this right here. There's even a tiny little opening right here at the top. That is where we're going to introduce these monomers into the cavity that's going to produce your lens. Matter of fact, we can produce a, a, a super clear lens or we can produce the, uh, the transition lens that turns dark outside. So once we have this gasket assembly, then it's going to sit here on one of these stations right here and it's going to be filled with a monomer. This uh, monomer starts out as a liquid, but uh, then we're gonna trigger it with a massive dose of UVB radiation, and we're gonna tell it, okay, you're about to turn into a super clear solid. Uh, and then it sits in one of these two drawers right here, and uh, in these drawers for 599 seconds, when it comes out of there, it is now a solid. So uh, we pull that lens out, um, and it, it now has a glass front mold, it has your lens in the middle, and then it has a glass back mold. Um, at this point in the game, we dip it in a high detergent solution and begin the process of taking those molds off. And presto, we have your lens. And aside from an annealing process, that lens is now ready to be cut and put into your, uh, into your frame. So uh, uh, this machine right here, um, there's just a few of these here in the nation. As a matter of fact, these mold coders right here to my left are so new that uh, they are still, uh, they're, they're hooked online to the parent company in Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, the information is constantly being fed to them, and uh, they are, uh, they're doing constant revisions on the, uh, on the, uh, the uh, scratch resistant coatings to make them even better and better as time goes on. Now, these mold coaters, what they do is they coat um, scratch resistant coating or anti-reflection or mirror coats onto the inside of the molds before we assemble them together because whatever we put on the inside of the mold, that is what becomes the top surface of the lens. So, uh, so these mold coaters right here have a robotic arm inside of them. We put the molds in there as clean as we can get them and uh, they're still too dirty uh, to use. So the machine will, uh, will clean them with 850 PSI of deionized water 
and then it will put uh, the coatings of the scratch resistance or the anti-reflection, uh, whatever the, that particular job calls for. Uh, and these uh, mold coaters right here are uh, pretty cool. When they when they go uh, start working, they sound like R two D two. Um, it's just a little ro tabletop robot that uh, that does some cool stuff, um, and we call them mold coaters. So uh, that's what's going on uh, here in the in the lab. Uh, there's just a few places uh, in the nation that have uh, this equipment here, and we are so excited to have that right here in Cleveland, Tennessee. Uh, to make your lenses. We're able to make uh, transition lenses, progressive lenses, uh, super thin lenses. Um, this, this makes about 98% of the prescriptions out there are made right here on these machines uh, and uh, we're super excited about it. Here at Pearl Vision, we have so many glasses. We just picked up Polo, Ralph Lauren. There's Vogue, Versace, Ray-Ban, Oakley's, Candies, Harley Davidson. Can you believe that? Some really cool women's Harley Davidson glasses. There's Eddie Bauer. If there's something we don't have, a lot of times we can order it. I wanted to show you this right here. This is a brand new pair of Oakley Crosslinks, and they've got temples. Get this, they're removable. You can slip this uh, temple off and put a different colored piece on there. So you've got the, the muted gray, or if you just want to be crazy, then you can go back to the, uh, to the orange temple. Got some really cool stuff out here. Ask an optician, we'll be able to help you. A lot of people ask me about polarized lenses. Do they work? How do they work? Are, are they worth the extra dollars to have polarized put on my prescription lenses? Polarization does this. It blocks horizontal light from entering the lens. Now, what that means is the light bouncing off of the, the car in front of you in traffic uh, isn't gonna go through the lens. The, the light bouncing off of the lake next to you that's, uh, that's glinting all that uh, light up in your eyes, uh, with the polarized lens on, you're not gonna see that. Uh, polarized blocks all of that glare that you normally get on a high sun environment. Polarized, in a word, is worth it. Okay, let's have a little fun. Which one of these lenses would you like to send your child to the playground with? This lens here is a kid-safe polycarbonate lens. Now watch what happens when I hit it with a hammer. It is very tough. Or watch what doesn't happen. Doesn't matter how many times I hit it, this lens just simply doesn't break. Now, this lens over here, not so much. This is a regular plastic ophthalmic lens, and unfortunately, it breaks into a thousand pieces. So again, which one do we wanna send your child to the playground with? The KidSafe lens is almost 10 times harder to break than a regular ophthalmic lens. So be safe. This one's a few dollars more, and it's worth it. Thank you so much for coming to see us here at Pearl Vision. We hope you had a great experience. We'll see you next time.